Well, let me, let me segue from that to um, <laughs> a delightful story that you tell about Margaret Thatcher. And I have to say, this is the Margaret Thatcher I don't even know how to imagine. Well, when Mrs. Thatcher was elected <clears throat> the leader of the Conservative Party in um, 1978, I think it was, uh, it's, you, you'd be amazed if you went back and looked up the press at that time. Everybody said, this is ridiculous, she's a shrill, mediocre housewife, suburbanite, no grasp of politics at all. Um, the Tories have made a huge mistake. And everyone was very condescending towards her. And I thought, writing my political column for the, <coughs> excuse me, for the Socialist Weekly, I thought this is a mistake. They're hugely underestimating her. And she's got charisma, and this charisma is not gender neutral. And I wrote this, said I thought she had some oomph, if you like. I've, never had, I've, sex had, I've had a lot of mailbag stuff of, 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 of a yuck kind since then. The rest of things, but I didn't, never as much as that. I didn't even, they couldn't bear to think about it. Anyway, when we subsequently met, I think she knew who I was because she was a new and untried leader. She was putting up with a lot of crap from the Tory press as well as the liberal press. <coughs> and there's someone on the left who says he thinks you're sexy and you have... Mm -hmm lovely skin and beautiful eyes, and she did. And so when we were introduced, I thought there was a little crackle, just a tiny <laughs> bat squeak of sex between us <laughs> as we brushed. Um, and I think I was right because we got into a fight about the, the then British white colony of um, Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe. And I was right about this. She was wrong about it, but she was so tenacious. Did she, did she know that? She, no, I had no idea, uh, <laughs> but really stuck to her guns. So I thought, well, let's not waste the whole encounter on this point. So I said, well, uh, no doubt there's something what you say about like that. And straightened off, and she said, no, bow lower. <laughs> I thought, all volition deserted me. I bowed again. <laughs> bent over somewhat, and then regained the vertical. And then she said, no, 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 much lower. <laughs> <laughs> and again, it, I didn't seem to have any control over it. I, I was bent <laughs> right forward, and she walked around behind me with a rolled up parliamentary order paper. She turned into a sort of thin tube, whacked me on the butt. <laughs> Straightened up with great difficulty <laughs> after that. And as I, as I toddled, tottered home, I thought, you know, this woman is amazing. Um, oh, after, after, she'd done that, after she'd done that, she turned away, leaving the room. And with a, what I maintained to my dying day was a roll of the hip, looked over her shoulder, <laughs> looked over her shoulder and said, naughty boy. Wow. So as I trudged home over Westminster Bridge, I, have it in, I describe it in the book. If you buy it, I'll sign it. Um, <laughs> I thought... This woman has definitely got something. And this was long before she was Prime Minister. The record of the next 10 years was anyone who got in her way was completely flat, and she totally gelded all the old male leadership of her party. She got everyone out of the way. Everyone was working for her. Um, impressed Gorbachev, <clears throat> got rid of the dictator in Argentina, uh, had Reagan eating out of her hand. This is not, doesn't come from being a shrill suburban housewife. It so means she you've got to have some... <laughs> You've got to be packing something for that. <laughs> Were you a good I waited and waited for the phone call to come and the... Yeah, really, really. The dark limousine to draw up outside my humble... <laughs> you do have a rich fantasy life, mm. don't you? <laughs> what makes you think nothing happened? <laughs>